And now let's talk about next year, because next year there are two players who, who whose contracts will come to an end and will not be renewed by Real Madrid because Real Madrid won them out and right quick. Those two players, I mean one of the two players, Mariano, it is something that we were assuming from a long time ago, right? The other one, Asensio, is a little bit more complicated. The reason for that is because Marco Asensio has been a player who, in my opinion, I mean, he really owes a lot of things to Real Madrid, right? The fact he became a important, important player, a famous player, it is thanks to Real Madrid. The fact he will leave Real Madrid for, um, I mean, basically for free. The fact he will get a very substantial, a very juicy transfer fee for him, not for Real Madrid. That is going to make so mad. A lot of Real Madrid fans will be mad at him and it's going to be bad. Why? Because, man, if you're thinking about to leave Real Madrid because you think you don't have any other choice in Real Madrid, the least thing you can do with your club, with your team, with the team that helped you out to grow as a soccer player is to give them some money. I mean, not from your out of your pocket, right? But if you sign for another club, that club should pay any kind of transfer fee to Real Madrid so we can make some money with you. I mean, considering you are out or you want to play out or you want to go out or you want to go and play it somewhere, the least thing you can do is to force yourself to leave the year before your contract is going to, it's going to expire, right? And then make some money for your club. It is something that happens in the soccer spectrum every time a good player has grown enough to go out and play in another club. And the way for them to thank his club is to go out and all the money the receiving club, the new club, is paying for him. A part of that, a transfer fee has to be for the old club, right? For the old, for the prior club, whatever you want to call it. So that is the thing. Why aren't you doing that? Because now, I mean, Ramadi fans, let me tell you, Ramadi fans, the first thing, Ramadi fans are not very happy with Marco Asensio with all these, his gestures and, you know, faces and throwing bottles and, and punts in the bench and all the stuff, right? We don't like that in Madrid. We don't like that. We hate it. Okay, number one. Number two, now if you live for free, we are going to be very mad at you and very, very mad at you. We're going to be really, literally pissed because that is not the way to go out. And you know that, right? You know that. So honestly, we, we will feel betrayed. We will feel mistreated by you. And we will feel, I mean, again, very mad at you. Because if you were thinking to go out and play in another place, why you didn't do that this last summer? Why you didn't do that, man? That way, you would have gone everywhere, somewhere else, you know, to play. You would have found the minutes you wanted to found, um, you wanted to find, and then Ramadi would have received the money that he really deserves for, for you, right? But no, you prefer to stay, you have stayed in Madrid, right? You're not playing at all, and now you want to go out for free. That's not fair. It's not fair, and you know that. But it's up to you. So, next, Benzema, full recover. Karim Benzema is full recover and will be available for playing against Osasuna, which is great. Great news. Considering we've been winning every single game without Karim Benzema or all the games he's been out and we have still and, and we have still won every single game, my opinion is when he's back, when the attack of Real Madrid can count on him again, it's gotta be awesome. It's gotta be awesome. Because every time we have Karim Benzema in the attack, I mean a lot of good things will happen. And we know that. We know that. So that's why I think for Real Madrid it's great. 
to have this player in the squad again available probably he's been out for a couple of weeks right so he's not probably 100 percent fresh and ready to go but as long as he touches the ball he feels good and in the first 10 minutes i mean if he is in the starting 11 i'd say it'll take him about i don't know maybe 10 to 15 minutes to warm up and feel great again and get the ball and try to score and be back on track right so to me it's great it's great news and of course i really i'm really actually i'm really really happy with him coming back to madrid i think that that is exactly what we need and uh yeah so very good news for los madridistas and for carl ancelotti who will have another problem considering he will have to uh pull rodrigo back on the bench considering fedor alberto will be in stone 11 i don't have any doubt about that and Vinicius Jr. of course is going to be in the left side of the field so yeah probably the sacrifice player will be Rodrigo Goes which is not great as Rodrigo Goes in my opinion he was growing a little bit more he was becoming better and better and better but now the Karim Benzema is back man there's no way there's no other way around we have to let Karim Benzema to get back on track and of course to be in the start 11 so let's see what happens with Rodrigo Goes, let's see what happens. I mean, my opinion is Carlo Ancelotti will pick Rodrigo for starting from the bench, of course. I mean, 99% chance. But um, yeah, we really need the Karim Benzema in the starting 11 still. So yeah, very good news. Probably not good news for Rodrigo Goes, but still good for um, Real Madrid. And now let me tell you, let me share with you all a story. A very, very, very curious, very funny story because um, the way we signed up to Fede Valverde eight years ago, it is quite interesting. Look at that. Fede Valverde had a verbal agreement with Arsenal back in 2014. He even flew to London and trained with first team for six days. However, they decided to wait to sign him until the South American U-17 Championship where he scored seven times and Real Madrid signed him up. So when Real Madrid, I mean, Real Madrid was, in my opinion, just scanning and monitoring the situation, right? He had been, I mean, Real Madrid had been monitoring the situation of Fede Valverde in South America, right? But they didn't, I mean, they were hesitating about to go ahead and sign the player right quick. So Real Madrid decided to let Arsenal get the player and, and have him train him for six days. And for any reason, they were as well probably hesitating. They were probably thinking about to sign him after the South American U17, under 17. And then when they and, they, and then when he scored seven times and they want to get back to sign him, Real Madrid popped up. And probably Fede Valverde said, hey, 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 no, my, no, my friend. I mean, if Real Madrid is here, I'm going to sign for Real Madrid. I mean, it has to be that way because, I mean, otherwise, if you don't have any other choice, if you don't have any other way, if you don't have any other team um, trying to sign you, you probably go out and, and sign for Arsenal because Arsenal is still a very good team, right? It's a very good option for every single player in South America. It's the best way for coming to Europe, right? But when Real Madrid pops up is when you say, oh my God, now I have to decide um, between Arsenal and Real Madrid. And of course, to me, the best one is Real Madrid, probably for the language as well, probably just because he speaks Spanish, it was probably easier for him. And of course, also the other reason was because it was just Real Madrid. And that is in itself a reason to pick Real Madrid, right? I mean, every time Real Madrid knocks the door, it's like, yeah, man, I have to open. I mean, there's no other way, right? So it is quite interesting because finally, Pedro Valverde signed up for Real Madrid. Then he was on loan in the Deportivo de la Coruña, I think, for a couple of years, a couple of years, three years, I don't know. And then Zidane um, recovered him for Real Madrid, right? He uh, pulled him up uh, to Real Madrid. He pulled him back to Real Madrid. And uh, that was great, man, because although he didn't play every single game, what is very true is Fede Valverde, every time he had a chance to play with Zinedine Zidane, he did a great job. I mean, a great job. And people started to know Fede Valverde 
Um, I still remember it was a game against Osasuna during, I think it was the prior season, the, the COVID season, I think, maybe 2018 or something like that. I don't know. But it was that day when we knew for the first time about a one Fede Valverde and we were completely amazed by the player. I, I still remember he was running around all the time, back and forth, um, stealing balls and uh, being very helpful for the rest of the team, right? He was running all the time and he was everywhere, everywhere, ev everywhere. I mean, the midfield, the attack, defense, whatever you wanted to use him, he would be there, right? So it's a very quite interesting story because it is something that don't happen quite often, right? But when it happens, man, it's great because you sign up a player who is really valuable and yeah, very happy to have him in the first team, in the squad. And of course, hopefully we can we can see more good things from, um, from Fede Valverde. So yeah, 